Bay or Beetlejuice is a pink giant big name. In case you placed it in which the solar is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. A substantial, very unstable, and approximately to explode. Ought to Beetlejuice in all likelihood explode at any moment? Celebrity Beetlejuice is both exciting and enigmatic. This purple massive big name within the Orion constellation displayed strange conduct when it got fainter in overdue 2019 and early 2020 than it had ever been in over a century of facts. It in brief have become nearly as weak as Bellatrix Orion's 0.33 brightest famous person. The amazing dimming become the call given to this incidence. But Beetlejuice has considering regained its brightness, turning into the brightest big name in Orion for a few days this year, brighter than ever before. Speculation approximately its imminent destruction within the shape of an explosion has arisen due to those incidents. However, is there any proof for this concept? Will the red large celebrity Beetlejuice explode throughout our lifetime? What impact would such an explosion have on earthlings like us? Be a part of us as we discover the drawing close explosion of the Beetlejuice supernova and the caution from Brian Cox. Brian Cox cautions that since humans may be the only sentient species in our galaxy, wiping out our civilization might have catastrophic outcomes on the entire galaxy. Cox delves into the Goldilocks idea in the universe, positing that precise circumstances over billions of years made Earth simply proper for significant existence to emerge. Although the star at on the center of our solar device has not undergone giant trade in almost 4 billion years, scientists estimate that it's miles approximately midway through its life cycle presently. It transforms 4 million tons of rely into power by means of fusing 600 million lots of hydrogen into helium every second. This hot plasma sphere is the primary power supply for existence on this planet. But scientists expect it will evaporate in approximately 5 billion years inflicting a good-sized alteration to the universe. Moreover, Cox disclosed how this will possibly play out within the BBC's Wonders of the Universe series. You might agree with the universe is static, but stars are merely a passing factor of the sky. Notwithstanding shining brightly for thousands and thousands or even billions of years, their lifespan is limited by means of their ability to attain hydrogen. A star like our solar starts off evolved to die when its hydrogen runs out. But it doesn't pass away peacefully. The solar might not simply vanish into thin air when its lifestyles end. Its outer layers will amplify while its fuel runs low because its middle will fall apart and produce greater warmth. But Cox's caution that the consequences of the sun's adjustments will be felt by means of Earth some distance quicker. He endured by means of pronouncing this can have a disastrous effect on our delicate planet. In approximately a billion years, there can be one very last ideal day in the world because the planet gets hotter. But in the end, all lifestyles will be unable to survive. The solar can have extended to the point in which it fills the entire horizon. Long in spite of everything human existence has vanished, its very last stage of development will see it change into a red large. But the sun will hold evolving lengthy after humanity has vanished. Our world may not make it this a ways, but if it does, all on the way to be left to see our star's ultimate loss of life gasps a charred and desolate rock. Our solar will burst in six billion years, liberating sizable volumes of fuel and dust into area to create a large nebula. It will be a slightly lit ember at its middle, a fraction of its modern brightness and extent, making it smaller than the Earth. Our solar can have became a white dwarf. Despite the fact that this method could make lifestyles on Earth impossible, NASA's New Horizons mission chief, investigator health practitioner Alan Stern formally disclosed that it might also create livable worlds in the coldest areas of area. Dr. Stern thinks that any final people can be able to find safety on Pluto and different some distance off dwarf planets inside the Kuiper Belt, an area of icy space objects past Neptune. These worlds' environments will considerably adjust while the sun expands, turning into livable worlds most of the time. Stars exist in tremendous stability sparkling with the equal brilliance each year. However, there are certain exceptions. A few stars, known as variable stars, have brightness variations. The most famous is Maya, frequently known as the Star of Surprise, diagnosed in 1596 via German priest David Fabricius as a variable star. Maya is a pulsing star that periodically expands and contracts. Another instance is Alol, which stories periodic eclipses from a companion star. 
About 30% of these variable stars are visible to the unaided eye, although it takes talent to figure their variations in brightness. You already know Betelgeuse even if you don't know the term. It's one of the brightest stars seen within the nighttime sky, forming a strong shoulder of the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is a red large so large that it is able to without problem swallow up Earth, Mercury, Venus, Mars, and perhaps even Jupiter if it had been located at the center of our solar device. Its distance from us is extraordinary, yet we can nevertheless look at it due to its size and brightness, approximately 400 light years in line with the maximum correct calculations, although that wide variety can be toward 600. The brightest of the variable stars is Betelgeuse, the fifth brightest star in the sky aside from the solar. Betelgeuse varies in brightness, now and again reaching almost the same brightness as Rigel, the constellation's fourth brightest blue star. Pulsations, although not as strong or normal as the ones of Maya, create the fluctuation. Occasionally, a celeb can also momentarily become rather vivid. Supernovae are the brightest and rarest of those. They may be created whilst a celebrity explodes violently, finishing its lifestyles. It is feasible for supernovae to be vivid sufficient to be visible throughout the day, though this has most effective seldom took place inside the ultimate 1,000 years. Astronomers dream of seeing a nearby notable supernova, an incidence that only a few folks will ever witness. We're hopeful beings. The megastar has continually been a capacity explosive device for the reason that beginning of astronomy. Astronomers have noted Betelgeuse due to the fact it's so vivid and simple to identify. As a result, we've a good deal of understanding about it, along with the truth that it's miles young, less than 10 million years antique as against the solar's 4.6 billion years or greater. We additionally realize that massive red giants like Betelgeuse have short lives because they burn via their gasoline supply quickly. Thus, despite the fact that this astonishing creature remains a toddler inside the grand scheme of things, it will soon pass away in a brilliant fashion. A fact to suggest that a celeb will burn out any day now clearly means that it can exist for lots longer than a human lifetime. In the end, in a world wherein 10 million years is just a blip, the next day is a hundred zero 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 years whilst you deal with cosmic time. Everything is relative. However, scientists have long stated that Betelgeuse's grand finale might arise at any time. Stars which are several times as huge as our sun have the ability to fall apart below their weight and die whilst their gasoline supply of hydrogen and helium runs out. They begin to accumulate heavier factors in their cores, main to their implosion and ever higher temperatures and densities. Ultimately, the star is forced to spit its outer layers into space by means of the reaction. Some predict that once Betelgeuse eventually blows up, it will be so vivid that it'll resemble a second moon in the nighttime sky. Betelgeuse is a variable star, but in 2021, there was a great dimming. In truth, it had darkened by almost 60% in a few months. Subsequently, it became determined that a cloud was responsible for this. Stars like Betelgeuse are continuously freeing dust and gas. Half of the star was obscured by a mass of gasoline within the wind, the size of the star itself. Certainly, images of the star revealed that its southernmost element changed into absent. Some stars seem to have weather such as Betelgeuse. It is now 50% brighter than common, but we still don't know what brought about the abrupt brightening. But it doesn't seem attainable that a supernova is set to occur. These stars' cases are the source of an exceptional explosion. Contrarily, fluctuations in brightness are a surface phenomenon. The superb brightness could be the result of the same dirt cloud that was answerable for the star's dimming, reflecting light again toward us. But astronomers are delighted due to the fact we can't be sure. Betelgeuse is a celebrity this is 15 to 20 instances as large because the sun, and stars with this type of mass are anticipated to blow up in an extraordinary explosion referred to as a supernova. Due to the fact Betelgeuse is a high-quality large, its coloration suggests that its lifestyles are almost over. However, in the interim, it would nevertheless be one million years off. For astronomers, over 10 million years is a completely quick time. However, for anyone else, it is a completely long time. This is the case with stars like Betelgeuse. New fashions had been run regardless of this, with a few speculating that a supernova could arise in some thousand years, and others placing it at 15 million years from now. The location near Betelgeuse is full of mystery. Its genuine mass is unknown to us, 
and its distance is also up for debate. It's Miles' caution that the celebrity is at least 400 light-years far from us, in spite of the fact that this is a very long way off, to make it visible within the night sky, due to its brightness and size approximately 600 light-years off. Betelgeuse is the fifth maximum shining famous person inside the sky, apart from the sun. Betelgeuse's brightness is variable, and now and then it may become as bright as Rigel, the constellation's fourth maximum bright star. Even though the pulsations of the sun are not as brilliant or ordinary as those of the metropolis, they do cause them to wiggle. Once in a while, a star may additionally end up extraordinarily shiny in a quick quantity of time. In those events, they are the brightest and rarest celebrities. To develop its life, the supernova can explode within the day. This has best came about a few instances in the beyond 1,000 years, and astronomers are aiming to see this once more. Fellow scientists have been enthusiastic about the megastar since the beginning of astronomy. They did now not have a good deal of understanding at the moment, however they knew it was some distance from accurate. But Betelgeuse became very younger, much less than 10 million years old. This compares to over 4.6 billion years of the sun. Astronomers recognize that the demise of a red giant is a quick one. In spite of everything, the fantastic stars are the issue of a day. They pass in a big scheme of things. 10 million years is just a flicker in a world in which cosmic time is just too long. This is why, at the same time as the star is young, it is getting old. Yet, you could see stars like Betelgeuse that are ten times the scale of the solar. To collapse is to fall into the area of the bomb and develop into something greater. The stars that are starting to age are the celestial body which you see. There is a new company. They go to a star that is 50 times brighter than the regular one-dot Betelgeuse, also known as Betelgeuse, is a massive red giant star located in the constellation Orion, approximately 600 light-years away from Earth. It is one of the largest stars known, with a diameter that could extend out to the orbit of Jupiter if placed in our solar system. This immense size makes it highly luminous, despite its distance. The star's luminosity is not constant. It varies over time, which is characteristic of variable stars. Betelgeuse can fluctuate in brightness, sometimes becoming nearly as bright as Rigel, the fourth brightest star in Orion. These variations are due to pulsations within the star itself although they are not as regular or intense as those seen in other types of variable stars. In late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse exhibited an unprecedented dimming phase, where it became significantly fainter than usual. This event puzzled astronomers and led to speculation about the star's imminent demise in the form of a supernova explosion. However, Betelgeuse has since regained its brightness and currently remains stable. The dimming event was later attributed to a large dust cloud ejected from the star's surface, which partially obscured its light as seen from Earth. This phenomenon, known as the Great Dimming, provided a rare opportunity for astronomers to study the dynamics of massive stars and their environments. Despite its recent behavior, Betelgeuse is still considered a prime candidate for a supernova explosion in astronomical timescales. It is a red supergiant nearing the end of its life having exhausted much of its hydrogen fuel and begun fusing heavier elements in its core. This process will eventually lead to its collapse under its own gravity, followed by a spectacular explosion visible across vast distances. When Betelgeuse does go supernova, it will briefly shine with the brightness of billions of suns and could even be visible during daylight hours on Earth. Such events are rare and offer crucial insights into stellar evolution and the production of heavy elements crucial for the formation of new stars and planets. Astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, using advanced telescopes and instruments to study its behavior and predict when it might undergo its final cataclysmic transformation. Despite its unpredictable nature, Betelgeuse remains a captivating object of study and a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe's most massive stars.